Amen. God bless you. 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 I want to um, direct you to this serious point. Amen. Do not impersonate a man and woman of God. Do not impersonate them. Impersonate meaning you being as though you are that person. You are copying that person's profile and you are putting it to yours, making it your own. Stop, stop copying and pasting other men and women of God on your page to use them as personal contact to those who you contact. Do not do that. God is watching you. And I heard a man of God uh, say, a, a particular man of God say that somebody was impersonating him. Assassinating his platform, his character. And he was mad. He was upset. And I do not blame him for feeling the way he did. And the money, amen, that God is uh, blessing him through his ministry that he's getting from the people that he's following is giving it over to the impersonator instead of him, the one that God is using. People get so jealous of huge followings. People get so envious of it. Oh, they got 10,000, 20,000 and more following. They have a whole lot of people following them. Every time they go live, they have 1K, 30K, 40K, 50K and up followers. They have a lot of uh, content. They have a lot of um, communication in their comments and their likes and their shares and their postings and their flyers. The Lord is saying, stop assassinating, stop impersonating someone because of what you, because of what they're doing that you want to do yourself. You can't be like that person. That person suffered. That person went through a lot to to get those things that they have. God is going to hold you accountable. You have a rude awakening coming to you. Destruction is coming to you. Warning comes before destruction. Destruction already came to you. It just have not exposed you yet. So whoever you're using to impersonate, I suggest you take that picture off your profile. And I suggest you put your face on it. Redo everything that you did. Erase it all and put you and use you and be you. Because you cannot continue to do this and not be seen by God. You are illegally touching oil that don't belong to you. You, you are illegally touching a garment that doesn't belong on you. The Lord is saying you need to stop while you are ahead before you get too far with this. Stop it.
that is a assault and an insult to many people. Zanlabasia. Kaba Sendidiosa. You will be held accountable and you will be judged according to the works that you do. Stop impersonating other people, ministry, other people, videos. Stop procrastinating this and stop doing it. It's foolery. Foolery. So take every post down that you are making concerning a man or woman of God. Take it all down. Take it off. Because, because God will expose you worldwide. Don't think he will not expose you worldwide, internationally. Especially when you're coming to get somebody who is already well known and has already been known to other people from around the world. You better be careful now. The Lord is saying, you have got to watch what you're doing. See, I already knew when somebody was going to impersonate me as well. I've been through it too. Some people, amen, uh, said that they needed help and stuff like that. And I gave them money. And as soon as I gave them money, what I had in my cash app, amen, they blocked me. They blocked me. They blocked me. They gave me a fake story. They gave me everything that seemed so sad and it touched my heart. And then once I did it, it blocked me. So God had to correct me and say, amen, you need to really pay, pay attention to those who come to you as the spirit of light, but their works is wicked. People of God, you have to be careful of who you are following in this season. It, there's a lot of thieves out here. There's a lot of thieves out here. They would do anything to get a profit. A PR. O F I T. They will get anything to make currency. But I'm here to let you know that if you do not stop impersonating the brethren and the sister, you will be exposed worldwide. And if you don't think that a post can go far, you better try it and you'll see. Try it and you'll see. I've come to you as a prophet of God, as a, as a seer, as a mouthpiece of God. You keep on doing what you're trying to do. God will expose everything that you do, everything that you have on you worldwide. Try it and you'll see what God do. Try it and you'll see. The 
The word say, touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm. And some of you still want to do harm to other people. And then you want to play victim. Then you want to play uh, innocent, but you're really guilty as charged. I'm tired of seeing this happen to men and women of God. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of seeing this. And some of them I know. And to see them upset the way that they are, I don't like it. We're supposed to build our brothers and our sisters up, not tear anything down. And if you do any of this generally, not just spiritually, but but socially, you you are per personating someone on any platform or any media use. You better stop it before God Almighty Himself expose you publicly, not privately. Because you still didn't learn privately when you was exposed privately. So now it has to be openly. See, in private, nobody really knows but the one that told you the warning. Now he has to do it openly so everyone know what you do and what you did and what why you did it and who you are. The Lord is saying stop right now or the world will know. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. May God watch you, watch over you in the name of Jesus. But I said what God wanted me to say concerning what some of you may be doing behind the scene. I love you all. God bless you. Amen. And, and stop being jealous of everybody. Stop being jealous of everybody. Just stop it. There's no need to be jealous of one another. Stop it. If you're jealous, take it with God. That's it.